Next is a topic that's been on everyone's minds throughout the year. Nonprofits in Ukraine are acting as first responders in the war and are under tremendous stress. But usually the last thing nonprofits worry about is taking care of themselves. That's why TechSoup Europe is building a program that provides quick answers to the challenges of staying resilient. Uh, Kula Berda, Senior Advisor for TechSoup Europe, will share more in this. Hi, I am feeling very lucky to be representing TechSoup Europe uh, here and for you to tell you how HiveMind platform, uh, that is a product, uh, loved being agile and it's being as flexible as possible. So this is not a new, pro new product and not new project. TechSoup Europe decided to build a comprehensive platform for capacity building of organizations. Let's focus on Central and Eastern Europe. And in the beginning, there were few major topics uh, when it comes to shrinking spaces. So we can see this information, anti-disinformation, cybersecurity, media literacy, positive narratives, and online campaigning. However, we face, we have, we, we see our friends in Ukraine struggling with the war and being still activists. It is still this special mindset and special place of heart. Uh, Tech of Europe decided to put all efforts into building also resilience and capacity for organizations in times of war. And by organizations, we mean activists, NGOs, formal and initiatives as well. So we came up with the concept of three times B. So being present, being strategic and being So we can see that in being present, it is the capacity of building trust, capacity of understanding how the brain and body react in, in times of prolonged stress, in times of a direct trauma and in times of a complex trauma as well. So this is not a normal condition that NGOs are working. Moreover, this is not a natural disaster. This is right now since, uh, since late February, and we're getting into winter, which is, uh, which will be a new challenge. So being present and planning for who we are at the moment, being strategic is about understanding how to adjust planning to um, very uncertain and complex times. So what can be the expectations and how to work with complexity and how not to feel bad that the plans of a strategy for, uh, for five years, are uh, we are not able to deliver them anymore. Most of all, it's also about the growth mindset and learning on the go. And one important thing is taking care what we're able to actually comprehend. So not to plan for a learnings, but rather how not to be overwhelmed and how to adjust and grow in times of the biggest crisis, most probably that people are going through. And uh, is being connected. So the absolute is learning for resilience and what we are as humans wired for. So this is the, the capacity building of a skill for listening, not even active listening, but like being present in listening. It's about norms, rituals, and habits that the organization can develop. Doesn't really matter whether online or offline. And how emotional literacy is again uh, a, fun, a fundamental skill for for surviving such time and for still being able to deliver and being a sustainable organization to being a sustainable. Uh, in, you can see that uh, we also decided to add something new and it will be published uh, soon on the website. Is also facts that are designed for the brain in a huge stress. So without changing, uh, without changing the content, we are, uh, we are responding to real language that people, uh, that people are using.
What is important is that, of course, it is an ecosystem uh, and it will be not only uh, the platform, but also local trainings. And one thing that I wanted to share is like how to make, uh, how to make the trauma informed training. And what I can do is also invite you to our uh, HivePoint platform or follow us on social media.